Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you um, the puzzle here at the gear drive train, or I don't know how you call this thingy, the multi-directional connection control drive valve. Uh, anyways, this because um, maybe you will get confused on how to open each door, but it's really really simple, guys. Now, in this video, I will show you how how it works and collect all the chests from uh, from this place at the Fortress of Meropite Abandoned Production Zone. So these three chests will not be counted inside the chest guide. And yeah, in the entire this area, only three chests. One of them, uh, actually four, but uh, this one we already took it during the World Quest, uh, the Game of the Rich, of uh, Unfinished Comedy. Since if we didn't take that, since if, if we don't take that chest, we couldn't continue, right? With the quest. So this one is not counted. One at the east and two at the south direction. Now, when you come here, you will see, you will find, uh, uh, this is my situation at least. I didn't touch anything, I just came here do after all the quests. Maybe you will have more gears, uh, the gear dr uh, drive train. Maybe you will have more, or maybe you will have only one, just like me. But anyways, uh, how, to, how to do this? Uh, um, let's go, for example, to this one on left side first, uh, the one on west. So, the one pointing toward west, as you can see on the minimap, uh, let me... Zoom. Okay, I'm pointing toward the west, right? So what I have to do is to point, uh, I mean, to put the driver here and wait um, not the long uh, part, but the short part uh, toward it. So basically when the long one is on the opposite direction. So just come here, click on the run. Okay, stop. Basically, you have to make uh, the way that uh, the long part is pointing toward the center and the center giant gear long part is pointing toward the room. So making a shape like this. Basically, the, the two long parts is connected and this uh, small part basically forming a narrow like this. Now, if you ask, uh, ah, but Kyo, I don't have your same shape, how do I open the door? Um, then, uh, for example, I can do this. Maybe... Uh, no. Ah, because you needed to put a gear somewhere to make it functional. So, let me put a gear here. Okay. Stop. Then I will retrieve it and put it, for example, here. Run. Maybe I have it like in this situation, right? So, install. So basically, when the giant, the middle one, is pointing toward the room we want, but the, the small one is, is not uh, having the long part pointing toward the center, don't worry, guys. The only thing you have to do is to make the small one with the long path pointing toward the center, and then you can just remove it. Because even after you remove, its shape is still fixed. So if you remove, it will not change the shape anymore when you rotate the center one. So for example, now here. Okay, this is the situation we wanted for the small one, right? So the small one pointing toward the center with the small part toward the room we want. So now we just have to rotate the center one, um, the long one toward here. So you can remove this. Put it anywhere else on the other tree. I will put it just here because that room is useless for now. So, now just run. Remember guys, we already set this one at the shape we want. Now we just need to change the one in the center. Because if you remove the gear when it's on a certain shape and you remove it, then rotate the center one, and then you put the gear back, the gear is not changed respect to before. In fact, you will see now the notification that we opened the door, right? Just like this, even without having the gear here, because we removed it when it was at this shape. So if we now we put it back, you can see it's still at this shape, so it will not change. This is basically the way we open each door, okay? I know it looks pretty complicated, but I tried my best to explain it to you. Now, if you go inside the room, you will find um, at least yeah, you will find this thingy, this gear. Now, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, see any gear here, then remove the one outside and put it here to 
to make it functional and just to run this this after you run this when the long arrow is pointing toward that direction you can stop okay one more nice and you will open the, that small door going there okay and here you will find a precious chest now let's take it, because this will not be counted inside my chest guide. And now you have to get out, taking this... Um, uh, yeah, let's just take it, I mean, after. So, run again, until it's pointing outside, so we can get out. Okay. Now take this one, pick it up, because we will need this one to open one of the chests here on bottom side, on south direction. Now you can take the gear, because this room is useless now. We took all the contents from it, the luxury chest. So you don't have to come back here anymore. Now we have to open the door at uh, south direction, this one, right? So let's put uh, a gear here first, uh, and let me see what's the situation. Okay, the situation is this one. Just uh, run the machine. Just run the machine and make the shape uh, that uh, um, the small, I mean, the longer part is pointing toward the center. Okay, just a click on stop. When you see the small one is pointing the center. And now just remove it, guys. Just remove it and keep rotate. Keep rotate until the giant one is pointing to bottom left. Okay, now just a stop. Remember guys, we removed the small gear when it was pointing the center, so the shape we want. And uh, if you rotate the center one, the giant one, without having the gear here, it will not change the path here from the situation before you remove them. Just like this. If you put back, yeah, this is the shape we want to open this door here. Now, what you have to do is to remove one gear and go inside that room. Remember, we still have this thingy we took from the room before. Don't teleport away, because else it will get reset. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we can also get a gear. So, looks like it was useless to pick it up. But, anyways. Um, just to come here. Here we will find the first chest. A remarkable chest. So, just uh, take it. And now, run the machine until, we, until the long part is pointing there. So, we can get the last chest. And all right, guys, it's a pretty hard, it's pre looks pretty complicated, and um, I have uh, uh, not really, really fluid English, so I, I still tried my best to, to teach you. I hope you understood. Anyway, so here we will find a punching bag, just to put the device here. You can read something here, it's just about the lore. Pretty interesting. Now, hit it, and a uh, common chest will spawn. Take this common chest, and we took all the three chests yeah. from... Uh, the abandoned production zone. So, precious one, I mean, a luxurious one, a remote cable one, and a common chest. So, that's it, guys. Hope this video helped you to understand this puzzle, how this puzzle works. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!